Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we'll be discussing about how you could actually mirror your Android device into any of your PC. So directly from your personal computer, you'll be able to see the screen of your Android device and you'll be able to manage it directly from there. And you can click through it, you can touch it, you can go into the applications, you could see the whole screen from there. And this could really help you speed up in terms of how you could actually display your Android screen onto any of your personal computer. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So over here, I got a Windows operating system running and we are now at the GitHub page of Genie Mobile or SCRCPY. So once you're on the site, you can scroll down a little and you can actually go under the operating system download page. So under the get the app. So if you're using Linux, you do an app install. And if you're using Windows, you can actually download a file. So I have already downloaded SCRCPY Win64. So I am running a 64-bit Windows operating system. And of course, going into the folder, I can actually go under the U drive that I have downloaded. So over here, I got SCRCPY. So I've already downloaded the file into the folder. So of course, if I look at the large icons or the extra large icons, I can see all the executables that I can run with. And once you have already plugged in your mobile phone into your PC, you can go into the command prompt. So I go into the command prompt and I go to the U drive. And once I'm in the U drive, I can CD to SCC, SCR, CPY, go into Win64. And all you got to do is enter DIR to see the directory of files. And you got to do SCR cpy.exe hit enter on that and it will do the execution and immediately will gain the access into your mobile device so here is where we left off on the developable option so make sure it's turned on and can we can see all the information regarding the mobile device so we can see all the other settings we can go into the home page and see what other information there are directly within the mobile phone so there you see it how quickly we could actually connect your Android mobile device into a PC and directly from there you'll be able to mirror the entire screen onto your computer. So I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions and of course remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.